Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Every gun should be this particular kind of gun. A uh, bull pup. A bull <laughs> pup. pup. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Walter Keller of Safety Harbor Firearms. We're on the Hacienda. Walt, what's up? Yeah. Shooting guns, man. Yeah, absolutely. And today we're doing one of my favorite subjects in the firearms world. Let me guess. Every gun should be this particular kind of gun. Uh, a bull pup. <laughs> That's what every gun should be. <laughs> okay. A bull pup. pup. Yes, okay. that's right. And this one actually happens to be from Springfield Armory. Um, not my or a lot of other folks' favorite uh, gun manufacturer out there for different reasons. But you know, they they do some cool stuff. They import some cool stuff. Yes, th this is uh, this is imported and stamped with their thing on it, and I can't resist it because it's a bullpup. Right. And a very cool one at that. Actually, feels better in the hand, and the pictures look cool. Right when we first saw this yeah, come yeah, out, yeah, we yeah. were talking about it on well, the podcast. Well, this thing has a 100% military lineage too, so it's not yeah. not a civilian bullpup so much as it is a military one. Yet, right. So. It's got some really uh, cool things I think going on with it. Um, obviously, bullpup means all the actions taking place back here, right? So you guys right, know right. that. Lots of uh, good use of plastic here, so it seems like a lot. Well, it's all I think plastic. only yeah, only the barrel and maybe the action seems yeah, like it's metal parts, here. Yeah. 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 So weight wise, what do you think? Yeah. Drop it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. That's yeah. Not I bad. mean, the, the pick Piece rail up weight. here that's aluminum too. That's not plastic. Yeah, that's either. aluminum, and yeah. it's the nice part of it is it's got pop-up sides pop-up sides from the factory yeah from the factory i like that yep. um they tout on their website look at that walt oh qd 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 <laughs> all over qd yeah all over the place yeah so that's that's good stuff i think adjustable right buttstock right. here that's interesting yep yep you yep. don't always see that here's your adjustment that walt was showing right there you could come down and get get a lot shorter i guess if you're like in close quarters with it. Um, this also is a uh, uh, piston driven, piston right? Driven, yep. So we, we've we've got uh, some adjustments there that we can do as well. Right. We're probably not going to do that shooting here. We're not using any no, cans. It's, it's We're gonna, not getting ourselves into trouble. <laughs> this is the first time either any of us have shot it. So yeah. So we're going to do first shots. Get some quick reactions. Yeah, yep. throw some ammo down range. You want to shoot it first, Walt? I will I let you. I am not going to argue honors. with that at all. So. We're not going to go with the M. We're going to go with something. We're going to go with the Korean mag. Right? Okay. Put the Korean mag in. All right. All right. All right. Snap that in. Uh, I'm going to shoot. I would love to see a Korean bullpup. No, I can't shoot this left handed because the ejection is set up for right. Yeah. So I'll shoot right handed. Back in. There you go. This is still getting used to because it's. All right. We must not have picked one up then. Yeah. I did pick that up. Yeah, it did pick it up. That's... Last shot hold open worked. I don't know what happened with that first one. But... I'm not sure either. Maybe it just didn't go in there positively enough. Yeah, we can say, you know. Comments? What do you think? Um, I First like impression. it. I mean, I, I, mm -hmm. all the reviews on this were pretty much good. Every once in a while, you find somebody that just done like bullpups, but right, uh, it's ambidextrous. You can go left to right. That's true. Ejection. Yeah, you can, you can switch that ejection. You can go over. that way. You can go that way. Yeah, has uh, HK style. I call it a uh, sling hanging points mm -hmm. up front. Aside from the, in addition mm -hmm. to that, this is M lock. I'm sure. Without yeah. a doubt. Let's see how it dry fires. And uh, so the safety is a little different, but still it's interesting and still intuitive. Now, let's see how that, yeah, you know, it's not the worst trigger. 
I wouldn't say that it's necessarily the best, but it's not, I would put it like, it's not bad. It is a military rifle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't think we got like a ton of rounds in these things. So let's make sure that's well seated. All right. I think, I think it stripped one off there. We'll see. There we go. Let me switch over to this. go to me it just seems a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be so you know I know that's that's really important to folks out there there you go the Helion can throw hell down range and then what that was is if I could do it right there you go that's how you close the bolt so first thoughts Walt that's cool. I'll yeah. have to shoot some more. I'd have to switch it over to left hand to really like. Okay, you'd like, be really curious yeah, to see how yeah, it is, yeah, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I was forcing myself right, so. Right, okay. But, yeah. So, do you think, like, when you. Because I know that you could easily switch from one gun to another. Do you think when it comes to a bullpup, you really need it to be set up right? Because I think I've noticed yeah, you, you do need this to, before. You need the little. Or, it's, you're really. It's different. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. So. They need yeah. some uh, uh, not orient uh, some some practice with it. Yeah. Before. Right. I mean, if that was a full size rifle, you could throw it at me, and I'd probably adapt pretty quick. But, yeah. yeah. How e how easy do you think it is? Now, obviously, we we don't have the instructions here. I'm just curious though, because right here is I your think port. I, I think it's we, really simple we, inside from watching it, a video about it. Yeah, we would just need um, to open it. I don't it think looks there's like any additional parts or tools needed to do it. Yeah. And me, I think. I don't know. It looks like you can just push stuff one way. Yeah, I'm not sure how it all. Yeah, I'm not sure how it comes apart either. We got some heat going on here, but you know, I think having polymer down here, yeah. I appreciate more than if this was some kind of aluminum, right? Because all right, all right. it's better. It's you know, it's to me better conductor. So, all yeah. right. I like it. We'll do some more stuff on it here. We'll mess around with it. I'm sure Walt will mess around with. Uh, Opening it up, taking yeah, it apart, to so switch we'll it over. In, read the instructions first, and then open the thing up. Read the instructions? <laughs> no, you say no. Watch a video, okay? Watch what? a video. Watch a video. <laughs> no, it's really cool, and uh, I do want to thank Brownells, because yeah. Brownells actually sent this to us so that we can test it, and we'll do more stuff on it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. But it's, I, I'll say this, it's better than I expected it was going to be, actually. I don't know what you think. I read all the stuff about it, and everybody, like most people like it. And okay. You, you got people that hate bullpups no matter what. Right, right, um, right, right. But aside from that, <laughs> most people had good reviews. Yeah. yeah. Always good to have another bullpup in the game in the here herd. in the Americas. <laughs> well, yeah. I like the fact that it's actually a military rifle, so. Yeah. It's had a lot of uh, trial and error. Yeah. Has more provenance to yeah. you? Okay. Yes. All right. So, yeah. Very cool. We will do more stuff on this. We'll bring it back to you guys. I'm sure our friend Patrick, Babyface P, yeah. wants to shoot it. Review it. Yeah, and, uh, uh, get his hands on it. I'm kind of smelling some, some cool uh, oils and stuff like that coming <laughs> yeah. off of it here. So. It's not tanning stuff. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it, it's, uh, it's cool. I like it. All right, so you guys let us know. What do you want to see us do? Should we make Walter do like a whole gambit here and get military? Since you like, you like the military part of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. get down into weeds. You want us to torture test it? What do you want? <laughs> Can I just shoot it like normal? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks, Walt, for coming right. through. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, you guys can check him out here on Utreon. He is Safety Harbor Farms. Safety Harbor Farms. Yeah. And Dirtfoot Racing too. If you want to do some mini bike uh -huh. stuff. But anyway, that's oh. a whole other thing. Oh, is Dirtfoot Racing yeah. over on here too? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. As well as we do the podcast, Who Moved My Freedom. So you guys, we do it live off of Utreon. Live. So you can find it right here on Utreon because you know, like YouTube's has been smacking us up. So we got to do what we got to do. Yep. 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 All right. Adapt, overcome. Absolutely. All right. See you on the next one. We're out of here. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. <laughs>